Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Taylor Louise Budgets video. You were here with me today for my second savings challenge stuffing for my paychecks in June. So let's get it. All right, so we have my savings challenge booklets here. We're going to introduce a new savings challenge today, but we'll talk about her later. And we're going to get out my savings challenge binder. So we have just one paycheck's worth of savings challenges in here because the rest are actually stuffed in a separate video. So if we pull her out, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 200 buckaroos to play with today. So let's get situated. This one might be short and sweet today and that is fully and totally okay with me. So we will pull this one out. We recently reallocated and finished a heap of challenges. So most of the challenges in here are pretty empty. So this one should be a pretty quick video. So we have $200 to play with today. Let's see how long I can remember to keep track on Casio. First off, we're gonna start with fitness. This did, you're not crazy, this did have money in it and I spent it, so I pulled it out. So we do need to start stuffing her again because if we don't, I'm just gonna spend money anyway. So each of these shopping bags is worth $10 and I was using a really dark color last time and I regretted it. So we're just gonna go with Maybe this one. Oh, you can't see it. Nope, not that one. Maybe this one? There we go, just a little light blue color, I think. And I am, how much money am I putting in here? We're just gonna go $10 for now. If I have some more money at the end, I'll come back to it because I know that I spend out of this category often. But just 10 buckaroos for now. In there, so minus 10, we're remembering. Then we have the Virgo challenge. This is also from Caroline from Caro Cash. Now this challenge is for beauty purchases. So I, I'm basically saving up for laser because I'm currently getting laser and I'm running out. I've only got one appointment left and it's in a couple of days, but we can see that usually this money gets spent on lashes, laser or hair basically for the most part. How much are we putting in her today? We'll go five, 10, 15, 20. I'm actually going to finish off this side and go 30 because that was two more little areas because I really want to purchase that ASAP. So that's all well and good. We've got 50. Actually, I'm going to swap out two 20s and a 10 for another 50 to make counting easier and to get rid of those bigger notes. So we've got 51, 20, 40. So 140 in there now. It's always better to buy them in bulk and it's end of financial year sales at the moment. So this money might disappear before you see it next. Next up, we have Twilight, and I just basically have Caroline Challenges galore going on in here at the moment. We are doing light blue for this one, and we're just going to do the $10 for Charlie Swan. And I quite like about these movie series ones that there's no pressure to do like a lot of them at once. Like you really can just like truck along doing one at a time, one a, one a week. And then eventually get the surprise of it being finished. So there's 30 bucks in there. And I have already forgotten to put these numbers. So I put 30 in there and I put 10 in there. Okay. Life's a beach. And I was saying that maybe this money will go towards my honeymoon because I am getting married very soon. And we're going to do the snorkel today for a tenner. I feel like that color just smudged everywhere, but it is what it is. So there's 50 bucks in there. And again, we're going to swap out for a larger note. So just 50. But this time we are going to remember to take the 50 out. So next up is the life of a pig who wants to save. And now this is Marlene from Snow Gardener 307's little book. And we are trying to work through her because she has a new one that is in the mail on its way to me. So let's go. We are working on happiness is free at the moment, a little lucky pot. And am I gonna roll a dice? No, I think I'm just gonna make decisions today. So we've got a seven. And a nine, which is 16. So can we get a four to get to a round number? Oh, five. So that's 21, which means that we can get 20 from here to put in here. But we've also got these little fake hundreds that I use as $1 bills. And when we get to five, I'll budget the real money. So that's okay. We've got 25 and three. So we're technically at 28 now for this one. And we're just going to minus off the 20 because only 20 bucks of real cash went in there today. Trucking along. Next on the agenda 
is Budget with Ira 1. Nope, that's 2. Budget with Ira 1, my little book of savings challenges. And we are working on bubbles at the moment. And I've been trying to match up the colors. So we're going to get out a green. And we're going to go 15 today. So there's 55 in there now. Moving along to My Little Book of Savings Challenges 2. And this one we're working on the ice cream. And I did forget to find my little clipper thingies for this. So what are we going to do? Might go a little wafer stick for 5. And maybe another little wafer stick for 10. And we don't have a $10 note. So I'm going to use some sprinkles. One, two, three... Oops, four, five, and another five there. So five, 10, 15, 20 in here, this one today. Which means that we have 60 buckaroos in there. We've only got 45 bucks left. So we're gonna go to this one, which is Liz and Less Outdoorsy. And we've been playing with these numbers to get to round figures. If I go, nine, and six is 15. And six is 21. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm going to squish that one and I'm going to go there and that's going to be 25. So 20 and a 5. So I've got 20, 40, 65, 70 in there now. This one's adding up pretty quickly, actually. So 25, meaning we're meant to have 20. Wait, what the heck? Yikes. Not sure what's happening here. So let's go to the front. I thought we had 200 bucks and we saved 10. And we saved 30 and 10 and 10 and 20 and 15, 20 and 25. Okay, so I've done the math wrong and I've got 40 bucks left. Wait, I've got, no, oh my, I can't words. I've got 60 bucks left, which is good because I wanted to add in another Caroline challenge because she just sent me her Diamonds Funhouse and the quicker I start this, the better it is because I always stress about being on track for these ones because they're tied up to the weeks of the year. So we are just going to go straight in with the 60 bucks on this one. And I'm feeling the blue theme continuing at the moment. So we'll go to the bonuses first. So 25 and 15 is 40 and 10 is 50. So all of the bonuses are already done before this even starts. Hey, hey, hey. And then there's only a 10 in week 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go half of this 20 here to mean an additional 10. So 60 bucks going in to Diamond's Funhouse. Cool, cool, cool. And maybe I'll move this to be with all the Caroline challenges at the beginning. Maybe after those two. Because those two are more like sinking funds. Awesome. So that was a quick $200 savings challenge stuffing. The thing is, is with my sinking fund envelopes being pretty empty, I could just like budget this $200 to sinking funds, but I find it so much more fun to budget for savings challenges because really other than the fitness and beauty that I'm happy to pull out of if those things come up before I finish their challenges, all of these ones, the money that's in them doesn't exist to me until I finish the challenge. Like if I am trying to find a way to find money, I don't think about this money because this money doesn't exist to me until it's complete and I get to reallocate it. And that is just routine and habit. And I'm just used to doing that. But it is also really awesome when something comes up and I'm like, oh, where am I going to find the money for that? Oh, I have a bunch of 
finish challenges. I can budget that money towards that thing that I didn't expect. So that like mentality really does help me out because I'm accidentally saving extra money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go down below, click like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video and I'll see you in my next one.